Precure. The magical girl juggernaut of a franchise you're far more likely to have heard of than watched. Often parodied in other anime, often popping up in anime news, but outside of Japan, usually only brought up in the context of telling magical girl fans to stop complaining about all the grimdark shows because you have this one, right? But legally, we actually haven't had it until recently, aside from the first season and Glitter Force. Crunchyroll was openly trying for years to get the rest of the franchise, and in the summer of 2020, we finally got two more seasons and the possibility of more to come. So, even if you haven't touched Precure before, there's no better time to start. You might feel a little overwhelmed by the franchise history, so I'll run through it to get you up to speed. We've got the first one, the sequel to the first one, the one that's definitely not the first one, the one that got parodied a bunch in Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, the one five people liked and one of them was me, the one that proved that red magical girls really are profitable, the one that got parodied a bunch in Himoto Umaru-chan, the one that had to change the plot in the middle of the season because of the tsunami, the one that got turned into Glitter Force, the Stealth Yuri Harem series, the one where the animators didn't know what melanin was, the one heavily inspired by 1970s shoujo, the one where you can't tell me in good faith that that ship is not canon, the one that will make you hungry, the one that made our anime think they were being trolled, the one where a post-Sailor Moon Magical Girl series actually dared to go with a space theme, and the one that's airing right now. Of the ones currently on legal streaming, we have these. Remove the Glitter Force seasons, and that cuts it down to these. So which should we watch first? Kira Kira Precure a la mode, or Heal and Good Precure? And before anyone asks, what about season one? I love Futariwa. I started with Futariwa myself. But have you seen the official release? <laughs> There's no excuse for this. Well, actually there is, in that the poor quality hard subs were already on hand from a short run in Hawaii and Toei just handed CR and Funny that copy, but I'm sure you can understand why I don't think anybody's going to want to start with those. Not when we have this, and this, right here. So with that leaving us with Kira Kira and Healin' Good, let's run through some basic pros and cons of each so you can decide which one to watch. Each season of Precure has a theme with a number of related or unrelated motifs woven into the setting, story, and characters, and the theme of a season is often a factor in new viewers choosing their first Precure. For Heal and Good, that theme is, well, healing. It's twofold, focusing on both healing the earth, i.e. environmental protection, and healing people and animals. So you have a character who lives in an animal hospital, one whose personality is founded on the after effects of a childhood illness, a stethoscope is a key item, upgrades that look like lab coats and syringes, and the repeated refrain that the Earth is crying. That's either a perfect theme for a time like this, or one that might be a little uncomfortable right now. On the other hand, Kira Kira has a simple theme of desserts and animals. The precure of this season are Kemono Mimi themed to a specific animal and dessert, and they work in a pop-up bakery and fight monsters that sap the sweetness and happiness energy from food. While that spawned more than a few Tokyo Mew Mew jokes, it does do a good job of focusing on its theme, to the point that being a good baker and a good precure go hand in hand. Some episodes even teach you how to make the sweets in the show, which is pretty cool. Of course, any show will hinge just as much or more on its characters as its story. And if you want a cute and happy adventure with a bunch of lovable magical girls, you're set to go. Kira Kira has a colorful cast including fan favorites like the wild rocker girl who's not interested in being a proper lady, the strongly autistic coded girl who's scared of being herself because people shun her for her love of baking chemistry, the princely dog girl with a sick little sister, and her smug capricious girlfriend voiced by Hatsune Miku. They stand out a little more than Heal and Good's Precure, though those girls are great as well. Notoka is my favorite pink cure in a long time, and while adult Precure have existed since 2010's Cure Flower, she was a side character and Cure Earth is part of the main team. Sure, the other girls still treat her like a peer because she's new and has no common sense, but it's something. As far as mascots go, Rata and the healing animals from Heal and Good are adorably endearing, but Kira Kira's pecorine is just kinda generic. And while all the healing good villains have a following with how entertaining they are playing off one another, Kira Kira has two solid character arcs in Vibri and Julio, and the other bad guys just kinda blend in. Overall, both casts have their ups and downs. A key difference, and an obvious one, is in the fight scenes. 
The Precure franchise is famous for its intense, action-heavy battles, and Healin' Good more than lives up to the hype, with care and attention put into the animation, and a good balance between magic and just punching the monster across the field. Kira Kira, on the other hand, broke from franchise tradition, as producer Kaminoki Yu claimed that the dessert theme wouldn't work with a combat-heavy season. The Kira Kira Precure explicitly don't have the enhanced strength and durability that other teams do, and they have to make up for it by heavily relying on dodging and spells. Now, this doesn't mean the Kira Kira fight scenes are any less exciting. They do some pretty interesting things with those constraints, but sometimes, as they say, you just want to rampage. The official translation also differs for each season. Following Toei's marketing guidelines, the titles are presented with Pretty Cure, which is what Precure is short for. However, Kira Kira's subs actually do use Precure in the main text, and Healing Goods continue to use Pretty Cure. Kira Kira also uses Eastern name order, and Healing Good uses Western. While most people might not care about this sort of thing, a vocal number of people do, so it's good to keep in mind if you're particular about your subs. Finally, Kira Kira is already complete. It's a full four cores, running 48 normal episodes and an epilogue for the 49th. As of this video, Healing Good is currently being simulcast, and thanks to the real world plague going around, it had a large hiatus in the spring. It's not yet known if this season will run shorter than normal so it can still end in late January like other Precure seasons do, or if it'll go the full 48 to 52 episodes and push the next season out further. So whether you prefer keeping up with a simulcast or watching a complete series at your own pace, that's something to consider as well. I wouldn't say either Kira Kira or Healin' Good is an overall better season to start with than the other. Both have their pros and cons, and they're solid Precure seasons for what they are. If you're particularly drawn to the theme or aesthetic or characters of one over the other, then that's the best one to start with for you. And if they both do well on legal streaming, then sooner or later we may well be spoiled for choice. Let me know in the comments which of the two you prefer, and which season you hope gets licensed next. This is Secret Identity Studio, and I love it when people are laughing and having fun. I stand by it. Everyone slept on 5GoGo, -Go, and it's actually good.